let's get into this ultimate prom glam. So to prime my face, I'm using the hashtag primer mask from Biobel Cosmetics. This was so intriguing, I was like so excited to use this. You basically take the mask out, it's a sheet mask, it's so easy, you put it on the face, it smells so good and it's so soft and cooling, oh I love it, especially because it's so hot right now in New York. So I put this on for about five minutes, let it sink into the skin, and then your face is freaking primed for foundation. It's amazing. I've never in my life, I was just so excited, took some selfies, yeah. So anyway, just leave it on for your face for about five minutes and then you rub it into your skin a little bit and then you just rinse and you're ready for foundation. I thought this was such a cool way to start. And my skin, you guys, afterwards it felt so smooth and so supple. It was amazing. So I already did my brows because I feel like you guys have seen it so many times and you know, moving on. Using Painterly to prime my eyes as always. I'm using the new 35R palette from Morphe. Ooh, yeah, so pretty. I'm obsessed, you guys. You guys know me and neutral. So I'm starting with this caramel color and I'm using an M504 brush from Morphe and I'm putting it in my crease, just dusting it around the entire crease and lid area for a transition. Hey guys, know me, I'm a Sigma girl, but I'm loving Morphe's brushes. I've used a couple of them before, but not to this extent. They sent me a whole bunch of brushes and thank you so much Morphe brushes for that. I was so excited to get a package from them. But um, they are amazing, they're so soft and I feel like they're really, really easy to blend everything in. I really enjoyed this like first experience, like this real first experience with Morphe, I feel like. So now I'm taking an M514 brush and it's like a skinny blending brush. I'm using this mustard color to go into the crease again and kind of go on the outer V a little bit. And basically what I'm doing is just creating a little bit more dimension, a little bit more color into the eye because, you know, we want that, even though it's really not the focus of the eye, we want it to really stand out and look really smooth so when we cut the crease, it'll look nice and clean. So I'm going back and forth creating that, you know, follow through line towards the end of the brow, if you guys know what I mean. You're following like the bone structure of your eye and going out towards the uh, end of your brow as if you're like following the bone structure of your eye. As you can see I'm using a darker charcoal brown color here from the palette and I'm just going back and forth and just following that line of the eye, following the bone structure. This is how I kind of cheated my way into a cut crease. I feel like I just followed the bone structure of my eye and I feel like it just kind of helped. So now I'm using Meron Mixing Liquid and this is gold metallic powder. Guys, this is an amazing product. I'm actually obsessed. And if for anyone that's, you know, struggling with cut creases, I really recommend you try this out because this is a smudge proof, waterproof, like, does not move deal. It's insane. And it just does not transfer up to the upper crease. It's just amazing and I was obsessed with the way this looked. I'm using an E58 from Sigma to map this out. And I didn't even need concealer to cut it out. That's how pigmented and crazy this gold is. It's just so beautiful and oh my god, so reflective. I feel like on camera it just does not do it justice. But it's just oh, insane. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go towards the outer V and make that kind of winged look because we're gonna go in with liner and like create that wing too. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was trying to create with the brown shadow if you guys understood my language in that way. I know sometimes it can be confusing when I speak but hopefully you guys understand. I know you makeup lovers do. I know you guys do. You guys can see I did the right eye way faster I guess because I was used to the products and the way it felt. And it's so thin, it's not thick feeling whatsoever, which amazed me because usually these big, you know, pigmented products, they could feel very thick and chunky, but this felt like smooth silk. So I'm going back and forth with um, those brushes and just blending it in. And to deepen this cut crease a little bit more, I'm taking that dark charcoal color again, and I'm using an M515 brush. That is my birthday. I just realized that. And I'm just going to deepen and decrease a little bit. So now I'm taking Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D, as always, and I'm going to make a wing. So I'm taking the liner and I am following the guide that I created with the eyeshadow. I'm following that same angle and going up towards the end of my brow. 
and you want to make sure in these kind of looks when you do angle out the eyeshadow that the wing also connects and actually helps to create a nice sharp line when you clean it up. For mascara I'm using Tarte's Tardis Mascara, probably my favorite mascara in the world because I just can't get enough of it. For lashes I'm using Gigi by Lashes and Toots. Probably my favorite dramatic lashes that I am launching. Coming soon, June 2017. Now I'm starting my face and I'm using Tom Ford foundation. I'm using the Traces foundation and then I'm using an M439 brush. And I love this brush. It's so big and bulky and soft and perfect for foundation. And it's super fast because it's so big and it blends out so nicely. And I will give you my full thoughts on the Tom Ford foundation. Right now, I'm loving it, but uh, I only used it about two times, so I want to give it like a full run. For highlighting and concealing, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in medium. And then to contour, I'm obviously using the NW45 Studio Finish Perfecting Stick. And I'm contouring the entire face, doing the forehead, the cheekbones, the nose area, the jawline, you know, the deal. And the nose is probably my favorite to contour. Nose and cheekbones. Nose and cheekbones. Now to blend everything out, I'm using the 3D HD blender. I'm so in love with this blender, it's not even funny. It's so perfectly dense and soft at the same time. It's kind of crazy. I'm gonna blend out all of the concealer first and then I'll blend out the contour. Always want to do light before dark, just in case you use a lot of dark, it doesn't like mix in to your light concealer. So I'm just blending this out. Make sure that it is damp, because I've come across a lot of girls that don't realize to dampen your blenders. Don't you guys realize how hard it was to blend it out? I always ask my friends that, because one of my friends, she was like, I never dampened it. And I'm like, huh? How did you do that? How did you get on with life doing that? And I just... I don't know. I didn't I didn't understand. So I'm just going to blend everything out. Now you guys can see me blend out my contour. Never blend down, always blend up the contour so you keep that line and you keep your face nice and sculpted. So I'm just blending everything up and then I'm gonna blend in the nose as well, starting with the outside contour and then going in. And try to use a clean part of the blender to do this so I don't combine too many colors together. Now to set the concealer and contour, I'm using the Cover FX Setting Powder. I haven't used this in a while and I still love it. I'm so like in between setting powders right now. I really like the Kat Von Z one, but I feel like sometimes it makes me pale. I still am learning with that one. So I feel like this one and the Laura Mercier, I really don't have to worry. But the Kat Von Z does really good coverage though. I'm obsessing. For the lower lash line, I'm smoking it out with that mustard color again. I'm mixing it with that charcoal brown just to add a little bit of smokiness and complete the entire eye look. It's probably my favorite thing to do is to smoke at the lower lash line. A tip though, if you guys do have dark circles, always use a soft brown underneath the eye and it will just do wonders for you. I promise. I put on some more mascara on the lower lash line and the eyes are basically done. Now I'm using Grand Street Houston Street Blush to, you know, Add some little color to the cheeks. And then I'm going to use the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. This is the Gold Sands one. And I'm using Tahiti and Seychelles. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be wrong. And I'm using a Morphe M501 brush to do this. This is probably one of the most smooth highlighters I've ever used in my life. It went on like a baby's butt. That makes no sense going on like a baby's butt. But you know how soft a baby's butt is? That's how soft these highlighters are on my face. That is just such a weird analogy. But I know you guys know what I mean. So I'm just putting this everywhere in life because it's just so stunning. I am dead with this. Dead. Dying. So beautiful. I was a little obsessed. I just kind of stared at myself for a little bit because it's just so beautiful. I'm putting some of that on to my brow bone and I put it a little bit in the inner corner as well. Now for lips, I'm doing Trendsetter by Huda Beauty. Her lip kits or lip, 
you know, liquid mattes are amazing. I kind of compare them to Kylie, although they feel a little bit lighter than Kylie's, I will be honest. Now I'm using Jouer's Skinny Dip. I've been trying to get this for forever and now I finally have it. It's so beautiful. And I put it on the center of the lips and I'm just mashing my lips together to blend it out. What a beautiful lip topper. I've never heard of lip topper before until then. I think that's just such a brilliant name for this because that's literally what it is. It tops the lips like a cherry on top of ice cream. It's perfect. Now to set that, I use Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray, and that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this ultimate prom glam cut crease tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I am so proud of myself for this cut crease. I know you guys, if you do have if you have watched me for a while, you guys know that I struggle with cut creases, but I was so proud of this one. And I hope you guys are proud of me too. And I hope that you guys can recreate this and feel confident in yourselves because you can do it. I believe in you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to also click that little bell so you know when my videos go live. So I love you guys so much. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I'm